Hi, I'm Jim Monroe from Sun TV, and I'm here with Dan Magnus, professional football freestyler, and Dan? 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 Dan! You've got a world record attempt coming up, um, keeping the ball up in the air for 24 hours. Why? Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. I've been practicing as a kid and that, always yeah. wanted to uh, see if I could break the world record. Because everyone used to say to me, oh, you know, how many, how long can you keep the ball up for? How many kick-ups can you do this and the other? So I wanted to go for it and give it a go. What do you make of this Dan Magnus fella? It's not bad. He got talked about, you know, his sort of holy grail, I guess, of, of keeping the ball up for 24 hours. Right. <laughs> and I thought you must be mad. Madman, indeed. Um, yeah. And obviously over that period of time I found out that he is. What age were you when you first started trying all these flicks and tricks and fancy skills? I was a very, very young when I got into it, really. I was probably, you know, nine or ten and then just, yeah, always always loved doing it, always wanted to be a footballer and that. So, so I think it's something you can do at such a young age because all you need is a ball, a pair yeah. of shoes and you're off, you know. You know, he's getting kids out there and playing with a ball, having touches, it's something I think, you know, is, is lacking in the game to a certain degree. Yeah. Uh, on the continent, we look at the touch and the skill and, the, and the, you know, that first touch that a player has is probably one of the most important things. Yeah. And I think sometimes in the English game, we're all sort of crash bang wallop, you know, competitive, wanting to win, young age, wanting to get your, your kids out there and win at all costs. I've seen the parents on the sidelines shouting and screaming and, yeah. you know, wanting to win those games. Always practicing in the parents' back garden, kitchen, front room, bedroom, anywhere really. <laughs> I used to take the ball with me everywhere I went and always trained hard and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, yeah, there was a few um, smashed windows along the way and broken flower pots. And wearing out the furniture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but hopefully um, this competition, this thing I'm doing will make it all worthwhile. Where, whereabouts are you doing this? Um, well, well, PlayStation have got me like a big box um, that I'm going to be doing it in, a big glass box. Um, so we're going to be doing it in the middle of Covent Garden. Right. Um, so we've got like a, yeah, so it's kind of David Blaine so David style. Blaine magician exactly, style, yeah? Exactly, that's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> David Blaine of football, that's, that's what I want to be. So, right. yeah, that'll be... Um, is, yeah. the, is the Perspex shield to stop people throwing eggs at you then, is exactly, it? Exactly, that's it, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, it will be. Hopefully, uh, no one will come down and do that. So, the, the current world record is a Brazilian, isn't he? 19 and a half hours? Yeah, 19 and a half hours to beat. So, yeah. uh, it's a typical Brazilian, I suppose that was practicing out on the beach. That's the cliche, exactly, isn't it? Exactly, that's Coke it. Combined. He probably did it and didn't realise he was even doing it because they're out there all day, every day anyway, aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, if I could beat a Brazilian, it'd be good for the English. So. so, what sort of preparation have you had to put in specifically for this? Um, this? Lots of training. I've been dieting quite a lot. Um, lost quite a lot of weight and stuff over the last sort of six, seven weeks. I've been yeah. doing lots of running, um, sort of 15, 20 mile runs. I've been keeping the ball up in, in my kitchen. I've been training, so I've just been, right. uh, yeah, I've worn out all the floor now. The missus has gone mad. How's that yeah. gone down at home? You're not very good Popular at all. Popular man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The thing is, I'm doing it all through the night, so I'm keeping all the neighbours up and all sorts. <laughs> so, um, 24 hours. What happens when you say 12 hours in and Mother Nature calls? Do you get a comfort break? How, how do they yeah. work that out? No, they've, Guinness has said that I can have a few little breaks along the way, um, right. just to yeah go to the toilet, have a little drink and that, so that's pretty good for me, so that's going to help me out a lot. So you've got to time it perfectly. So, yeah, got exactly, yeah. And we'll be following him with his world record attempt too, you can catch up with it, it's April the 30th through to May the 1st, and we'll be there to film it for Sun TV.